Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to share a new to me house with you. So this is a brand, this is a new perfume house called The Maker. And this discovery kit here was gifted to me by The Maker through Octoly. Um, I don't often request things through Octoly to review, but when, uh, when I see fragrance pop up or a new house uh, pop up, I usually am interested because, you know, I wanna get my nose on things and I wanna be able to share them with you if they're good. So yeah, we're gonna go through, I've got a little discovery kit here. Um, and this is super interesting. This it's a really cute little discovery kit, and they sent a little thing of of um, they're just like little cards that kind of tell you they kind of tell you different things. So the the thing behind this house is it's supposed to be like uh, olfactory deja vu. These fragrances are supposed to kind of remind you of something. So they've got. Um, so I've got six different fragrances here in the discovery kit. We've got one called Paradiso, Naked, Wild, Stag, Libertine, and Fire. And the whole thing behind it is, so Fire, for example, it says it's a sultry amber, and it says it's a smoky gourmand that smells like the moment when sparks fly. Um, let's see here, Naked. It says it's a sensual musk, sensual skin scent inspired by a love affair. Uh, libertine, it says it's a divine citrus, aromatic citrus that smells like complete freedom. Um, we've got wild, which is an amorous floral. It says velvet floral inspired by a night of unbridled possibility. Uh, stag, uh, which is seductive woods, rich warm blend of woods that smells like innate confidence. Paradiso, which is lush fruits and it says carnal fruity floral that smells like pure joy so i'm going to go through all of these more closely and let you know what they, they smell like and what the notes are in them and things um but yeah i just wanted to give you kind of an idea of what is behind this house they are all unisex fragrances so they don't say whether they're but i'll tell you as we go through here they are all unisex but some definitely do lean more masculine some definitely do lean more feminine which i will let you know as we go through um, they're vegan, they're cruelty free, they don't have a bunch of junk in them, they're really clean fragrances, clean, I say that loosely because, you know, um, they claim to be clean fragrances, I'll just say that. And yeah, they've got some really beautiful fragrances in here. The bottles, the full bottles are really, really gorgeous. I'm just going to show you. If you guys remember that line that Chloe did in bottles like this, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that Chloe line. They're really, really beautiful bottles. They also carry candles as well. And I do love their logo as well. I love the compass and just the font, everything about it. I love the whole feel of the packaging, the dark green. It just feels very... I don't know, sophisticated and expensive. Okay, so let's start going through the fragrances here. I love these because they came in little drams. We're gonna start with the one called Libertine. And yeah, they came in these little tiny drams, which Sucre Bay makes little drams like these as well. And I just think they're the cutest little things ever. So this one is called Libertine. And this is the one that it said it is supposed to smell like freedom. This one to me leans a little bit more masculine and this one is described as being a divine citrus. So this one is pom pomelo, hibiscus, and Virginia cedarwood. It's beautiful. It smells like a slightly masculine leaning, fresh, juicy citrus. It's really, really beautiful. So that one is libertine. Okay, next we have got naked. And this one, uh, I love this one. This reminds me of something. So this one is described as being a sensual musk. This is tangerine, wild orris, and white musk. And it's beautiful. It's very, the tangerine is super citrusy in the top. You get that slight powderiness from the orris in the middle and then the fresh, clean white musk in the base. 
it's really, really pretty. I The Oris is what stands out the most to me in this one, though. So this one to me is more of, is, it's mostly an Oris fragrance. It's beautiful. It reminds me of something. Gosh, I can't put my, note, my finger on it right now. So anyways, that one is called Naked. Next, we've got Stag. This one is described as Seductive Woods. This one, to my nose, leans quite masculine. Yeah, this one is quite masculine, though. I wouldn't be uncomfortable wearing it. It's definitely a dark, woody fragrance. This is Bergamot, Agarwood, and Palo Santo. So you've got the freshness from the Bergamot, but it immediately goes into like this dark, woody fragrance. It's beautiful. It's very high quality smelling, like very high quality smelling. It's a beautiful wood fragrance. So anyways, that one is called Stag. Okay, next we've got Fire. This one is the one that I was the most excited about. Um, this one is described as being a sultry amber. And this one, ugh, I love this. This is, I think this was my favorite one. This is Juniper Berry, Tobacco Accord, and Tahitian Vanilla. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this one is beautiful. This one is definitely very unisex. It's, I would say it leans just a touch masculine, but it's beautiful. This one is dark and deep. Very, very dark, deep fragrance. This is for like the middle of winter. It's, gosh, it's so good. So anyways, that one is called Fire. It's really, really nice. Very, these are all very, very expensive smelling. I will say that. They are very expensive smelling. Very niche, very, very niche. Okay, next we've got Paradiso. This one is described as being lush fruits. And this is, ugh, I love this one too. This one is Mangosteen, Dreamy Plumeria, and Patchouli Leaves. It does smell kind of fruity, but it's a tart, juicy, watery, green fruit. It's not a sweet fruit. It's amazing. This is like the freshest, like most beautiful. I can't wait. I'm saving this entire dram for hot weather because I think this is going to be incredible in the hot weather. This was my second favorite for sure. I love this so much. It's such a beautiful, very unique smelling hot weather fragrance. It's amazing. So anyways, that one is called Paradiso. It's the mangosteen in it that gives it something. You don't see mangosteen in fragrance very often and it's done so well. It smells so natural and fresh and it just, it's one of those fragrances that almost takes your breath away. It's so good. So anyways, that one is called Paradiso. It's amazing. And then last but not least, we have got Wild. And Wild is described as being an amorous floral. So. Mm, this one is really pretty too. This is Velvety Peach, Tuberose Absolute, and White Sandalwood. This one is definitely a tuberose fragrance, but it is softened by the peach. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful tuberose. It's a fresh tuberose with a little bit of sweetness from the peach. I mean, these are really, really beautiful fragrances. Really, really beautiful fragrances. I mean, these are, they're expensive smelling, they're niche smelling, they're just gorgeous. They're very unique. Um, yeah, I could tell by the packaging that they were gonna be super nice. Like when I saw the packaging um, on the Octoly site, I knew they were gonna be super nice. I just didn't know that they were gonna be this beautiful. So yeah, anyways, that one is called Wild Beautiful Tuberose Fragrance. Um, so yeah, um, I love these too because these are two mil samples, so it's enough that you can test it enough times that you can get an idea if you actually like something or not. Um, I think the Discovery Kit is beautiful. I love the drams. I love everything about this this house. Um, I didn't totally know what to expect from it, 
but I am super impressed. I think the fragrances are incredible. They really, really are. They're amazing. And yeah, they do. I believe they've got this discovery kit available as well as full bottles. They also have roller balls. So there's a variety of sizes to choose from. Um, yeah. So thank you again so much to the maker for sending this beautiful discovery kit over from me. I'm so, over for me. Um, I'm so happy to have been able to get my nose on it and to be able to share it with you guys. I of course will have everything linked down below for you. Um, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.